talk is briefly, I want to say maybe every three months, you know, when I call, when she calls. Have you ever wondered what happens when the world's greatest gymnast faces the most personal challenge of all, reconnecting with a mother she's kept at a distance for years? Simone Biles, a name synonymous with strength and resilience, now finds herself at a crossroads where family ties and past struggles collide in a story as compelling as her Olympic triumphs. I was an addict. I will always be an addict. But there's just a way that you have to learn how to stay away from people, places, and things and change your routine and just change your life. Shannon Biles' story is one of struggle, heartbreak, and the harsh realities of addiction. Before Simone Biles became the world-renowned gymnast we know today, her early years were marked by instability and uncertainty, largely due to her mother's battles with drug and alcohol addiction. Shannon, like many who fall into the grip of substance abuse, faced a dark period in her life where caring for her children became impossible. She wasn't the person she wanted to be, and as much as it hurt, she had to make the difficult decision to let go of her kids, hoping they would find the stability and love she couldn't provide at the time. Shannon's addiction spiraled to the point where her children were taken in and out of foster care, a traumatic experience for any family. Eventually, the responsibility of raising Simone and her younger sister, Adria, fell to their grandparents, Ron and Nellie Biles. They stepped in, offering the girls a chance at a normal life in Houston, far from the chaos that had surrounded their early years. Looking back, Shannon reflects on those painful decisions with a mix of regret and understanding. She knows that she wasn't capable of providing a safe environment for her children while she was in the throes of addiction. In a recent interview, she candidly admitted, it was hard to give up my kids, but I had to do what I had to do. Shannon is now sober, working hard to maintain a stable life and hoping for a chance to reconnect with her daughters. She understands that her past choices have created a distance between her and Simone and she's expressed a deep desire to make amends. Shannon isn't asking for instant forgiveness. She's asking for a chance to explain, to tell her side of the story, and to show that she's no longer the person she once was. She hopes that one day, Simone will be ready to hear her out, and they can begin to rebuild the relationship that was fractured so many years ago. When it comes to Simone Biles' journey, her grandparents, Ron and Nellie Biles, played a pivotal role in shaping the person she is today. After Shannon Biles, Simone's biological mother struggled with addiction. It was Ron and Nellie who stepped in to provide the stability and love that Simone and her younger sister, Adria, desperately needed. The girls were just toddlers when they were adopted by their grandparents, who lived in Houston. This was a turning point in their lives, giving them a chance to grow up in a nurturing environment where they could thrive. Ron and Nellie didn't just offer Simone and Adria a home, they provided them with a sense of security and belonging that had been missing during their early years. Under their care, Simone found the freedom to pursue her passion for gymnastics, something that might not have been possible without the solid foundation they built for her. Simone has always been open about how much she owes to her grandparents, famously stating, if not for my parents and adoption, I wouldn't be here today. Ron and Nellie's decision to adopt Simone and Adria was a crucial factor in Simone's incredible journey to becoming the most decorated gymnast in the world. In a recent interview, Shannon Biles opened up about her deep desire to reconnect with her daughters, Simone and Adria, after years of distance. She wants nothing more than to mend the broken relationships with her children, especially with Simone, who has become a global icon in gymnastics. Shannon's plea for reconciliation is both heartfelt and patient. She understands that the wounds of the past can't be healed overnight, and that it's up to Simone to decide when or if she's ready to rebuild their relationship. Shannon has made it clear that she's waiting for Simone to take the first step, respecting her daughter's boundaries, while holding on to the hope that one day, they'll be able to sit down and talk things through. I would just ask her to forgive me, Shannon said in the interview, can we move forward? Don't judge me on my past. Let's move forward. This simple but powerful statement captures the essence of what Shannon is hoping for. A chance to leave the past behind and start fresh. She's not asking for an instant reunion, 
but rather for the opportunity to prove that she's changed and that she's ready to be a positive presence in her daughter's lives. It's a plea that many parents who have struggled with addiction might resonate with. Simone Biles, the world knows her as a powerhouse gymnast, a symbol of resilience and someone who has defied the odds time and time again. But behind the medals and the spotlight, there's a more personal story, one that involves a complicated relationship with her biological mother, Shannon Biles, Simone has chosen to keep a distance from Shannon over the years. Simone's early years were marked by instability, moving through foster care before being adopted by her grandparents, Ron and Nellie Biles. They provided her with the stability and love she needed to thrive, allowing her to focus on her dreams of becoming a gymnast. For Simone, it's clear that her grandparents are the ones she considers her true parents, the ones who stood by her side and supported her every step of the way. This isn't to say that Simone harbors ill feelings toward Shannon, but rather that she's chosen to focus on the people and the environment that have consistently been there for her. In the very beginning, I didn't even know what GOAT meant. I remember being at a shoot and people kept saying, oh, the GOAT is here, the GOAT is here. And I was like, guys, where's this GOAT at? And they were like, oh, it's you. And I was like, that's kind of weird. It was just an opinion that people had. And now, you know, you have medals and stats to back it up. In the wake of her recent Olympic victories, Simone has proven once again just how strong and resilient she is. Winning three gold medals and a silver at the 2024 Paris Olympics, Simone has further cemented her status as the greatest of all time. These achievements highlight not just her physical abilities, but also her mental and emotional strength. Simone has faced immense pressure, both on and off the mat, yet she continues to rise above it maintaining her focus on her career and personal life. Simone is 27 and newly married. One might wonder if these life changes will influence her decision to reconnect with Shannon. Marriage often brings a sense of reflection and a desire to reconnect with one's roots. But for Simone, it's not that simple. She's built a life that's very much her own, separate from the chaos of her early years. Whether she chooses to reach out to Shannon in the future remains to be seen but it's clear that Simone is in control of her narrative. She's chosen independence, crafting a life where she decides who is part of her inner circle. Whatever she decides, it will be on her terms as it has always been. The dynamics within the Biles family are anything but simple, especially when it comes to the delicate relationship between Simone Biles and her biological mother, Shannon. Over the years, communication between Shannon and Simone has been minimal with Shannon largely relying on her father, Ron Biles, to keep her informed about Simone's life. For Shannon, hearing about Simone's achievements and life events through her father is a bittersweet experience. On one hand, she's immensely proud of Simone's accomplishments. How could she not be? Simone has become a global icon, winning numerous Olympic medals and inspiring millions. But on the other hand, it's a constant reminder of the distance between them a distance that Shannon desperately wants to bridge. Relying on Ron for updates might keep her in the loop, but it also reinforces the reality that she's not directly part of Simone's life. This can't be easy for Shannon, as she's left to navigate her feelings of pride and regret, all while hoping for a chance to reconnect. In contrast, Shannon has maintained a closer relationship with her other daughter, Adria. The bond between Shannon and Adria is stronger, which could potentially play a role in influencing Simone's decision about reconnecting with her biological mother. Family dynamics are often shaped by these kinds of connections, and Adria's relationship with Shannon might open the door for Simone to consider reaching out. After all, seeing her sister maintain a relationship with their mother might stir feelings of curiosity or even a desire to understand that part of her own life but it's important to recognize the emotional complexities that come with this situation. For Simone, the decision to keep her distance isn't just about moving on from the past. It's about protecting the life she's built and the emotional well-being she's worked so hard to maintain. On Shannon's side, there's a mix of hope and pain. She's hopeful that one day Simone will reach out, but there's also the pain of knowing that she might not. Shannon is ready to be patient, but that doesn't lessen the emotional toll of waiting. It's a complicated web of emotions for everyone involved with no easy answers. 
Yet, amid the complexities, there's a shared desire for connection, even if it's unspoken, and that desire is what keeps the possibility of reconciliation alive. So, what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below.